Okay, I'm going to show you three different methods and how to do this question. Right. So the question says, oral potassium chloride 10% solution contains 20 mil equivalents of potassium per 15 milliliters of solution. A patient is prescribed 22 mil equivalents of potassium daily. How many milliliters of potassium chloride 10% will the patient receive each day? So basically they're, trying to, they're asking for milliliters. They want us to convert this 22 mil equivalents to milliliters. And you notice the percentage, the 10% solution, and there's another 10%. They're the same concentration. The number is just there to confuse you. So that's why I just ignore it. So our first method I'm going to show you is the amateur method for those that are not really good at math. So I'm going to use a, a, a cross multiplication method. So our stock concentration is 50, 20 mil equivalents per 15 milliliters. And I'm going to convert that to 22 mil equivalents and find the equivalent uh, milliliters. So I'm trying to find whatever this number is here. So you can either cross cancel or you do whatever fancy math to find out what this uh, unknown is. You'll find out that that number is 16.5 milliliters. Okay, so that's the final answer actually. And make sure when you put the final answer, it's just the number because the prompt says numeric, no units or commas. So 16.5 is what you put in the computer and hit enter and you got it right. So the next method I'm going to show you is kind of more intermediate. So I'm going to start off with 22 mil equivalents of potassium because that's what they want us to convert from mil equivalents to milliliters. So I'm going to multiply that by a concentration which is here, 20 mil equivalents per 15 milliliters. That's the concentration that we have. Also realize that this is the same thing as this, 15 milliliters per 20 mil equivalents, right? These two, these two numbers, these two fractions here are exactly the same. And I know which one to use in my uh, method here because I want the mil equivalents to cancel out with the mil equivalents. So I'm gonna make sure the mil equivalent is one is in the denominators. That's why I know to use this one, not this one. Right, so I'm just gonna use this, right? 15 milliliters, right? 15 milliliters, there's 20 mil equivalents. And I, I know to use this one because it's in the denominator. So this two, these two cancel out, right? And that equals 16.5 milliliters, right? That's the answer also. And now I'm going to show you the third method, which is the expert method, which people who are really good at math do normally. So normally they do this in their head. So 20 mil equivalents, we're trying to convert that to 22 mil equivalents. And someone good at math will notice this is 10% more. 22 is 10% is more than 20. And then in every 20 mil equivalents, there's 15 milliliters. So, and 10% of 15 milliliters is 1.5 milliliters. So I know I need 1.5 milliliters more plus whatever the stock solution is, 15 milliliters. So I'm just gonna add 1.5 milliliters plus 15 milliliters, and that equals 16.5 milliliters, right? So all these answers are the same. You can use any method to find your answer. Uh, if you're really good at math, when you do these calculations, I always use at least two methods and then move on to the next question. Because if I have two different methods get the same answer, then I know it's right. And that's how you solve it. Goodbye.